Hello everybody, all my queens and my kings out there. Welcome back to the Vault of Lady M. Yo, it feels like I haven't spoken to you guys in like forever, even though it was just last week. Welcome back guys. Um, Thank you so much. Attitude of gratitude. What is the name Sorry for the unbreaking. Just fixing my makeup. So, my lips. Speaking about last week, today, she gave us a beautiful tutorial to us women that struggle to do the basics of how to make the face beat look spectacular. As you can see today, once again, I'm not really wearing any makeup, but I decided let me just have a pop of color in my lips sometimes man if you don't look like doing that whole shebang it can take a bit of time but today really really impressed me by showing me that quick way of how you can quickly do your makeup under five minutes i know sometimes we as women say we don't have time we don't have time but she really she was brilliant in showing us how you can apply that makeup under five minutes so today i decided let me just have a color lip man just to brighten up your life and my life. And then speaking about brighten up, oh people, there is so much happening around us. Apart from this terrible pandemic, this COVID-19 virus going around and losing so many loved ones to this virus like just in this week um actually last week we lost my grandfather to the virus as well and it really just makes you reflect it makes you think about priorities it makes you want to leave your beef that you have with people because you truly start to realize that life is short even all the negativity currently happening in our country, the looting, the criminality, everything happening out there. It is, I think there was a point in time in this week where I just decided to switch off my phone, switch off social media, switch off the news and not be exposed to so much negativity because it can really um, affect your mental health, affect your mental state. When you look at all of all of these bad things happening, not to say that I don't know what's happening in the country, but you know, sometimes you just become overwhelmed with everything around you. And then like what I did today, I decided I'm going to put on this flower Alice band because flowers have a way of lifting my spirit. Um, so I want to encourage you guys while, while I'm here, whether it is you go into a space where you will just feel content where you will feel happy whether it is like one of the other things that i love music switching on my phone while washing the dishes or while cleaning or even sometimes while working just listening to music to uplift your spirit like i said flowers like if you need to make yourself look beautiful if you need to dress up just to make even if you're going absolutely nowhere and you just dress yourself up just to make you feel normal and good, then I want to encourage you, go to that happy place of yours. Um, do anything that you can to, to really go into that happy place, whether it's spending time with your family, sitting around the dining room table. Even sometimes I have two very busy boys, even sometimes allowing them just to be their crazy self and not scaling them all the time like we as mommies do um allowing them to be crazy enjoying their craziness enjoying their carefreeness just to forget for a moment about everything happening around you then i want to encourage you to do it find your space where you can just feel at peace where you can feel at at, where you can feel content where you can feel happy for a moment for me definitely as a christian one of the things being in the presence of god that's definitely one of the things that will uplift you as well and make you feel good so that is my encouragement to you guys out there coming from lady m just go find yourself something or someone or a place where 
um, you will just be lifted up. Um, yeah, so that is my encouragement for you guys out there. Like I said, I know there's a lot happening. As I mentioned, fashion or just dressing up, making myself look beautiful so that I can feel better about myself as well. That is also definitely one of the ways, my spaces that I go to. So it's not just about creating content and showing you guys, but it's also about, you know, how you're feeling at that point in time. Everything the Bible says to guard your heart, you know, to renew your mind um, and your mind, your mental health state. So anything you can do to make yourself feel good. So that is my tip, but for the week and for the weeks to come. Um, yeah, I hope you guys will take it now back to business for this week. Um, I thought to myself, oh, what is that what I can for the means of this? But I decided, let me do another thing. And it's no other guest person this time. It's Lady Moi. It's me just showing you guys some swagalicious church looks. So this is what I called for this week's um, episode, Swag Looks or Swagalicious Looks. Um, you can basically dress it up where you look basically funky, trendy, but you're also attending church. So this is probably uh, a lot of the young people might enjoy this a bit more. But even if you're older, like myself, you me so you don't care. And you want to look swaggy, um, then definitely stay tuned and look at the looks coming up. But also not just for church. If you're going to an event or anywhere else, this will also definitely help you. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. If you enjoy these looks. And please guys, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much till this point. I have 75. I still need to get to 100 subscribers. Come on guys, I know you can do it. So go ahead and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Drag so my bell down and that will notify you when the next episode vlog is coming on. So hope to see you guys soon. Stay blessed. This time around we have a change of scenery and we're taking our looks outside since the sun is shining. Our very first look is a sweater dress, a grey one. Mmm, big eater coat, no, pull it down over there. But let's complete this look with a white skirt over that shirt dress the t-shirt looking very swaggy oh any skirt with pockets in it is definitely cool some lilac ankle socks peeking out there over the tackies and then we're pairing it with some plum earrings all of the purple colors in this look shake it shake it girl So next, we are matching it with a lilac peak cap. That lilac matching the lilac socks peeking out there with those sneakers. And then we throw over a plum sulky jacket. You can pull up the sleeves. That's how we're doing this trend lately. If you're not allowed to wear peak hats, why not wear a purple or the same color? Fascinator, loving that first look. In the second look, we have a pencil stripe gray pants, white stripes on the side with a black and white polka dot shirt that has a bow peeking out there and black and white earrings. Mm, definitely those morning slippers is not matching this look. Yeah, so we put on some silver or gray, if you would like to call it that, heels that matches this look. Very funky look over there. And if you don't have a bow, you can always wear a tie with your button-down shirt. And then we see another trend coming through. The bucket hats are very trendy these days. So she's wearing a yellow bucket hat to break the color of this black and white and gray look over there. Looking funky. And then we're throwing over a distressed crop denim jacket just to add to the swaggy, funky look over there. Go get it, girl. What do you guys think of this look? It looks super cool. In this next look over here. Ooh, I love your t-shirt, girl. T-shirt. Fabulous! She's wearing a black and red pleat skirt with some ankle fishnet socks paired with a heel, black heel over there. 
I saw that bird flying there. <laughs> Wearing the very same black and white striped earrings, as you can see, this might seem as if the patterns doesn't go, but it definitely, as long as it's in the same color pattern, the same color palette that you are wearing, it will definitely match. So she paired it with some cool hair accessories, also very trendy these days. So next she's wearing a black and white pleat jacket and the way we wear the jackets these days we just throw it over our shoulders to make it look cool. Definitely a pair of black sunglasses will definitely take your look, your swagalicious look to another level. Totally in love with this look, what do you guys think? And then for our final look she's wearing a black and white polka dot silk wide leg pants with a short long shirt button down shirt that has some funkiness to it the pink in the shoe matching the color in the shirt just to break the color a bit over there yeah drop it drop it drop it once again the girl is shaking her hair mm -hmm. i see you girl and then definitely any fedora type of hat really takes a look to another swagalicious level. You're going to fly away, I see. And then we're ending off this look once again with a pair of black sunglasses. What do you guys think of these funky looks? You think you can pull it off? Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of these four swagalicious looks. Curtsy, curtsy, bow, see.